Hey guys, this is Andy 50k1. Hello, Lucy Hopper. That's my cat. Um, a friend of mine suggested that I should do of what I think about Halo 5, what should be in and what should be not. This was like a few days ago, so I'm gonna do one. Now, I'm gonna get all the hard stuff out of the way first. What I don't want in Halo 5 is linear. Especially when people have to put on the whole awkward looking bodysuit like they did for the characters, which is really weird. It makes the game linear. They did it for Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, they did it for the Call of Duty games, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, Battlefield. It's just when you put those suits on, it makes a very limited space. I'm sorry, that's just. I know what you're trying to do, you're trying to capture the whole body motion, blah blah blah, this, that, whatever. The only thing you should capture is the face. Like Rockstar did with, with L.A. Norris in GT5. Just the face. Focus on the face. Don't focus on this, because you don't want to look at this. No, you don't. Because that's just weird. That's why I think those suits are just weird, but the point is, that's what makes the game linear. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, and also effects on, and it also makes a smaller sandbox on multiplayer. If you're gonna make Halo 5 Guardians, you can't make it always as, you know, a small Sandbox. It's got to be a large sandbox. Kind of like in Halo Reach. Even though they had kill boundaries, yes. And that was Bungie's last game. But I'm talking about multiplayer-wise. Like, say, when someone will play uh, Big Team Battles. you got to have open world space, especially for Forge World. I mean, that was introduced in Halo 3. And it was in Halo Reach. Halo 4 didn't do quite a good job. And a lot of fans weren't really proud. And I was one of those fans, so... You know... Upgrade it, please. I know it's going to be out for next gen, but... Rumors I've been hearing, this hasn't been some... Typical difficulty, that's no... That's nothing new. Halo follower, some of my friends... Um... Is... I think Halo follower mentioned, but... That's besides the point. Make sure it's fixed and patched and ready to go. And really, do not use those bodysuits. It's just silly. Focus on the face and match the body with the surrounding. With, you know, kind of like they do in GT5. Now for the easy, fun stuff. Um, now it's not really certain that Cortana is dead. I mean... Even though she did sacrifice herself, but it's possible that she's alive, so... i like to see Cortana come back, you know. But you can't leave that space empty. We gotta know for certain if she's dead or not. Simple. Um... Yeah, and Master Chief's armor, I see what you did there. You see? This goes back to the main subject, was talking about the hard stuff. Make it linear. This suit is actually the one prime example. Because I don't think the guy could wear the copies. Well, this is why she really focused more on the face. And not the whole body surrounding. It makes the game really awkward. So, yeah, make it like the Halo... Make it like this Millionaire Mark VI on my shirt right here. Yeah, it's a Halo 3, sh Halo 3 shirt. Don't complain about it. Or complain, whatever. But this is what a Millionaire Mark VI is supposed to look like. It's not supposed to look like a, a green Optimus Prime from Transformers of Michael Bay looking. No. <laughs> it's supposed to look like this. Alright? But I think you're doing that. I've been seeing some concept art on online data. The Millionaire Mark VI. And if you're going with that, good job. I mean, I saw Heal 2 in first three playthroughs on people's YouTube channel. And I must say, for campaign... That's good. Go with that. But I think that's about it why I think about Halo 5 Guardians. But till then, this is Andy50K1.
See you next video. Bye.